Steve will say in a few. Thank you. A scary situation leading to a crime alert after a man attempted to abduct a teen girl while she waited for her school bus. The girl is safe, but the search for the suspect continues tonight. This happened in Alton on Tuesday, but tonight police are still looking for the suspect. Michael Roberts, who you see right there on your screen. Kimberly Donahue has the latest on this investigation. Kim. <laughs> Corey, parents in the Alton area tell me situations like this are a concern always on their mind, and it's a conversation they wish they didn't need to have with their children, but they hope they can learn from this victim's actions. Can't imagine something like that happening. Tony Tall, appalled to learn a teenager was nearly abducted near this Alton gas station this week. He's especially concerned as a father. Well, I was a helicopter parent, so we talked about it quite a bit when they were growing up, you know, and we come, we come from a small town, so um, it's definitely something that's overlooked in smaller towns. The family of the 15-year-old victim tells First Alert 4 the incident happened around 8 a.m. Tuesday at Fosterburg Road and Moonlight Way. We're told a man, now identified as Michael Roberts, watched the teen victim from the air pump at the Casey's General Store across the street from the bus stop. According to court documents, Roberts drove up to the 15-year-old and told her, quote, get in the car. She then told Roberts to get away, threatening to call police, and he drove off. Being a mom, just thinking about kids literally just going to school and you have to worry about somebody possibly getting them before they get to school is kind of sad. Roberts is now charged with felony child abduction, but he's not in police custody. I visited the Alton Police Department Friday and requested more information, but was told the only person I could speak to was gone for the weekend. And my request for the initial police report was denied. Illinois court records show Roberts had been charged with three felonies between 1999 and 2009, but the details about what he was charged with are unavailable. With the suspect on the run, Tall says conversations about potential predators are important. Um, I think it needs to be talked about quite a bit. You know, I, I think everybody should talk to their parents or their kids about it. Court documents state Roberts admitted to being in the area and offering the victim a ride, but didn't know she was 15 or waiting on a school bus stop. He was last seen driving a black Dodge Charger. For more information on this case, look inside this story on the First Alert 4 News app.